now we're ready to cut out our apron after Ms. Durant approves it. And you're going to use fabric scissors, which are only used for fabric. These are gingers, and if you use them on paper, pencils, or anything besides fabric, you might get yelled at. One thing you got to make sure are that your pins do not go over your fabric. Or let's see, let's use this one. Go over the line because when you cut, you're going to snip or to dent my scissors, and I might also be upset. Okay, when you cut, it's very important to take your time and to cut neatly. And I like to cut with my fabric to my left. Now, you want to cut long uh, cuts to make it nice and even. Okay. Now, if you are left-handed, I do have left-handed scissors, but they have orange handles on them. Okay. And you're just going to cut all your pieces out just like this. Now, the one thing I told you is in the earlier video is not to cut the fold. If you cut the fold, you're going to have extra work later on. You could salvage your project, but it's going to be extra work. So we cut across, around. We did not cut the fold. And then we're just going to cut the hem. See, I'm not. I'm cutting it with some, with the fabric to my left, and it's not as neat of a cut. But you could turn your fabric around. All right. But you want to cut right along that edge. Now you'll do the same for your pocket. Again, do not cut the fold. I'll cut this out really quickly, so there's no misunderstanding. Cut that so I can turn my piece. There's a little snip here. And cut through like that. So I've done two, and you're responsible to do the strap, which again is one of the hardest ones to do. But if you take your time and you have a lot of pins, you should be good. Thank you.